So if all the pumpkins in the patch increase by 20%, then let's figure out what happens to the mean standard deviation and maximum. Let's start by thinking about the maximum pumpkin. Its height was 22.1 inches. So I said max sub old is 22.1. Now if this pumpkin increases another 20% in height, we can multiply it by 1.2 to get our new maximum, which we'll call max sub new. So the new maximum is going to be 26.52 inches. Now if every single pumpkin increases by 20%, that means the mean of all the pumpkins is also going to increase by 20%. So mu sub old, the old mean was 11.6. We're going to multiply that by 1.2 as well. And we calculate the new mean is 13.92. Now standard deviation is a measure of spread, but when you multiply everything in the data set by a constant, it also gets multiplied by the constant. So our original standard deviation was 3.4. If we increase it by 20%, our new standard deviation is 4.08. When you multiply all the data by a constant, it's called a transformation. And all of these measures, maximum, mean, and standard deviation, are affected by it. Our next transformation is adding 4 to all the pumpkins to get their total height. So the maximum is going to be an additional 4 inches. That brings us to 30.52. And if all the pumpkins get 4 inches added to them, our mean will also increase by 4 to 17.92. The only thing that doesn't change with an addition transformation is measures of spread. Even though all the pumpkins increased by 4 inches, they're not spread out any further apart. They still have the same spread. So our standard deviation is going to remain at 4.08 inches. There's actually two ways to do part C. So one way to solve this is with the empirical rule, or the 68, 95, 99.7 rule. If we use this rule, it says 95% of our total pumpkin lanes will be within two standard deviations of the mean. So we know the mean is 17.92 from part B. We also know the standard deviation is 4.08. So using the empirical rule, if we take our 17.92 and we add and subtract two standard deviations, 4.08, we get the interval 9.76 to 26.08. We could say 95% of the pumpkins are between 9.76 and 26.08 inches in total height. But the empirical rule is just an approximation. Let's find the exact answer. So we'll stamp another normal distribution. Now we want to find exactly how many standard deviations cut off the middle 95%. So if the middle 95% is cut off, that means in each of these tails, we're going to have 2.5% of the area. So we can use a function on the calculator called inverse norm to find that cutoff. To access inverse norm, press second and vars. This is the distribution menu, and we're going to go down to inverse norm. And it says, what area do you want? I'm going to type in 0 0.025, because that's how much area is in the left tail. So I want what cuts off the lower 2.5% of the area. I'm going to leave the mean and standard deviation as 0 and 1 for the standard normal curve and it returns this value that's really close to negative 2. Now the empirical rule says two standard deviations cut off the lower 2.5%, but in reality, it's this many standard deviations. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply this by negative 1, just to make it a positive value. I need to go this many standard deviations in each direction to cut off 95%. So that's probably about here to here. So we'll call this the exact method. So on my calculator, if I press the STO arrow button, I can store this value as X. That way I don't have to type it a bunch of times. So I'm going to take my mean and add and subtract 1.95996396 standard deviations from it, and then I'll have my exact interval that cuts off the middle 95% of total pumpkin heights. So since I stored that value on my calculator as x, I can take my mean and subtract x 
standard deviations. There's my lower limit. And I'll get my upper limit by changing this to an addition sign. There we go. So you can see these intervals are a little bit different. But this one's more exact. Like this video? Check out my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It's got 100 problems, all with videos just like this. You can pick it up on Amazon.com.